Okay, now, after this little thing, I'm pretty sure that we will get the amount of experience needed. If not, I rage quit. Okay, I'm on. Alright, wait, hold on, wait. Put that in there. 15, this should be enough. I'm pretty sure that was enough. Let's take a look. Yes! Yes! Eh, blue. Yeah. Alrighty. Finally, now we need to grind up two. We need to get two more pieces of glass. Oh no, that means we need to go. Alright, first of all, let me in empty in my inventory. We don't need that. I had to make more of that. Nah. Get rid of that. Out, out. Oh, jeez. Alrighty. Um. We could. I hopefully we can grind up both of these. Here, take that. Start grinding. Let's see what happens. All right. Um. Let's see. Um. Put that under noms. And force little nugget thingy bajigs. I'll take that and recraft that. In the meantime, into a bar. Uh, had to actually start going through my gold a little bit to do that. Any glass? No, I don't. F Aww. and I can't even put that in there. Ugh. So you. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um. So everybody, remember, infernal mobs. One of the f worst things in the world. I will dump you. The and run away. Ow! I take sheep. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ow! And I, if you re, if you rewind the video back for a few seconds and pause at a precise moment, you would see that the infernal mob was really, really powerful because the name of their tech, the text of their name was um, yellow. Which meant they were a uh, uber infuriously high damaging. Yeah, not fun. All right, I got one piece of glass from that. I'm gonna need to make more force glass, so I'm gonna need more sandstone wherever it went. One, two, three, four. I just need three. No, wait. Did I just see a piece of glass in there? Yes, I did. So I just need two. Grab that. Ugh. Oh my god, this gigantic adventure all to fly. Isn't it exciting? Now let's see. Um I what did I need? Um Right, I'm gonna take this. Break that down. I really should have kept that, but eh. In all honesty, right now it's not the best time to keep things. Alright, so I can take that out because I have plenty of power. So, we are finally there. We just need two pieces, two pieces of dust. I can do that. All right, cook these two pieces of sand. Let's get a force nugget, and let's start the recipe for more force nuggets. And yet another meteor. I swear, I am going to die from these meteors. And I see where one of them landed, right next to that boat right up there. And I think maybe one of them just landed right there. Oh no. Oh no. Yep, a meteor just landed right there. That's, one, not good. Two, good, actually. Alright, um, class. Eh, eh. Alright, let's go out at the middle of the night because we're suicidal. Let's eat some food first. Maybe get that meteor later. Oh boy, that's going to be one difficult and two the worst idea ever. Alright, capture piggy. Capture this guy. And that should give us a good opportunity to get our glass and fly. When we when we get the glass and we are able to fly, we will be able to get down there. Also, when I was out exploring in the world, I actually came across um, something from Thumbcraft, a Thumbcraft chest that can actually be of use to us. So come on, piece of glass, piece of glass, piece of glass. Come on, it's a 50-50 shot if you, oh yeah, we got a piece of glass, which means we can fly. Put that there. Um, hey, sheepy. 
Hello. <laughs> Cute. All right. Um, we will put that there. What? Oh, it's two. It's two, right? I think I reversed the crafting recipe. Um, let's see. I know I have feathers somewhere. Oh, you know what I could do? Do that, and I can actually highlight stuff. Oh no. Where did I put the feathers? I know I had feathers. I know I had two more. Oh no. Right there. Oh, thank you. That was... That, that scared me a little bit. Alright, so... I need one there. What? Use. Alright, um... Use. Alright. Alright, what was the crafting recipe? Oh... I am a total idiot. It's feather dust and not glass dust. What was I thinking? I am a fool. I'm an idiot. Let's put this stuff in there. I could probably put this in there. Whatever. I'll stuff that in there for now. I need to organize everything in here, which incidentally gives, brings me into a new mod called Applied Energistics. We already seen one of the tools right here, the grindstone. Alright, let's see. Oh my god. Okay, note to self. Slap me in the future if I ever do this again. Putting everything away that I actually needed. Alrighty. That, that. Oh no, I think I just already done goofed. Not with the crafting recipe, but I know I can't re-enchant these boots. And, oh no, I need to make more boots. Please have enough. Okay, that's good. I just have enough. So put that there, put that there. Let's get some sugar. Let's get five. Just to increase. Oh my god, yes, another meteor. What is with the meteor drops? Oh boy. Alright, this will... Another portal has been created. That is scary. One, two. I am scared. Alright, we'll put these special boots in here for now. We'll use them as backup. Now, everybody, the moment... Oh my god, this is taking forever. But, guys, the moment we have been waiting for. Our force boots with the with this feather will allow me to fly. Now, first, though, because we can fly, it will take some durability use. So, I'm going to fill it up with force gems and force liquids from this. To just make sure they keep from breaking forever. And... Now before we put it on, we press F, we fill it up, and if I were to shift and hold space bar, and then right click, I can fly. Woo! And I don't take fall damage at all. Now with my speed, and with my ability to fly now, I will be able to get out of really messy situations, and etc. So, let's try to do something really stupid and really, really stupid. Oh, first of all, let me do that. Alright. Let's try to get this meteor. Wherever it went. Uh-oh. Please don't drown, please don't drown, please don't drown, please don't drown. Perfect. Alright, let's vein mine this. Hurry up. Oh, no. Alright, um... I can't see anything down here, which is a bad, uh, extremely bad idea. So, I went there. Uh, that ring that I found a while ago would come in so much. Would come in so much. Bleh, would be so handy right now, in all honesty. And I only got that much. Ow! <gasps> no! 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 Okay! Oh, I just got hit by that monster. That when you got hit, that thing. Okay. Oh yeah, another thing about force armor is, although it takes down the durability by a lot, um, if you just use your empty fist, here I'll demonstrate on this poor sheep here, I'm sorry sheep, but it makes this really cool sound and also, oh yeah, <laughs> it's just a really funny thing, so um, yeah, funny thing for that, um, I don't think I'm going to get the rest of that meteor because I just cannot breathe down there, 
Um, I will make a new pick out of that. And we did it, guys. We are now able to fly now. Of course, with the cost of durability and force, but this is a really big jump right now. So I hope you enjoyed my little walkthrough for learning how to fly in Mad Pack. And actually, right now, why not? So, remember that little thing I told you I found a while ago? Well, I am going to check that out right now and hopefully not die. So let's take a little nap first. Oh, press X. Alright. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't look like anything's out to kill us just yet, so let's fly up. And if I remember correctly, oh, a lot of burning stuff out there. Hi, sheep. I'm not going to punch you. And as you can see, the little meter from the very top left, it's decreasing. All right, this is the chest I was talking about, uh, yeah, talking to you about. But that little bar that showed up here, it's called a mana bar. And... Basically, that's the Darkcraft way of telling you how much time you have for flying. So, flying, it takes up a bunch of liquid force. It has mana, so it's only limited, but it's flying regardless. So, quickly, let's get in here. Let's take all that. I see a bunch of good stuff, and we will be out of here before anything else can spawn. Alrighty, let's go home, and let's probably end the episode. Ugh. That meteor down there. I it's so tempting, but it's so deep down, and I don't have. And if I run out of the little air bubbles right down here, then I drown permanently, and I spawn back up here. It'll be easy for me to get. But speaking of which, it's time for me to turn magnet mode off because I've been using it way too much now, and I can probably use not use it. So we have a safari net, a couple of pages. Ooh, travel stabling. That's very very good. I can use that to hold stuff, ender lily seeds, more music discs. This is a pretty okay haul. So anyway, oh yeah, I can jump really high now with this feather. So either way, I think in the next episode, it's time to pack everything up in here, steal the glowstone, steal some stuff that we don't, we can salvage from this place. And I think it's time to move on from this place. We've been here for quite a while and it's time for us to exit this place. So. This is Hi Hi 007 saying, Welcome to Darkcraft, here is Darkcraft, and also, here is the beginning of a new adventure. In the next episode, see you later.